school in Oxford now plans to cancel Easter and Christmas because they want to be inclusive. But who is it inclusive to? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London in Royal Horse Guards Parade. Hope you're keeping well. Thank you as ever for your company. And that is, yes, the latest breaking political news story coming out of London today. What I find interesting with these stories is they're so woke. And now let me tell you about Dragon School in Oxford. It's a very posh school, for want of a better word. Very, very expensive for you to send your child there. So it's always strange when these schools that rely on very, very rich people to send their children there decide to do something that really could damage their brand, i.e. they need the money to remain open. So Dragon School have decided to do this. So head teacher Emma Goldsmith, do look her up, has decided that she basically wants to change the season. So now it won't be say Christmas term or Easter term, it will be autumn or spring. And the reason being apparently is because she wants everyone in the college to feel inclusive. Now, here's where it gets interesting as ever. 98% of the people that are attending Dragons College are Christians. So exactly who are you are trying to be inclusive to? Now, Emma herself said that she's received positive feedback. But as ever here on the show, we've done a little bit of research for you. And this is what we found. What we found was this, quite a few parents are incredibly angry. Many are now looking at the long-term future of sending their child to this particular school. And as one told me, it's all very well wanting people to be inclusive, but wouldn't it be nice to have an open discussion, perhaps a school meeting, to let everybody know? Apparently this was done in the form of a letter and an email. Now we often say here on the show, it'd be interesting to see just how long Emma Goldsmith remains in this particular post because there's one thing that does change wokeness and that is money. If you decide to remove the money, particularly when you're a school that relies, as I say, on very hefty funds, well, then you're in trouble. It does also make me note as well that Emma Watson, the star of the Harry Potter films, well, she went to that school as well and they reached out to Emma, but apparently she's too busy to offer an opinion. Odd, really, an actress being too busy to get herself in the limelight. So make of that what you will. Does Emma agree with it? Or is she simply potty not to agree with it? Whichever way, we'll keep you posted on this latest woke story coming out of London. Neil Sean in the heart of London.